Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I made a paper looking effect for these seed packet cookies. To start with this design, I am outlining and then filling in a rectangle with 15 second icing. That means the icing should be able to flow a little bit, but it takes a little bit of wiggling and jiggling to get it to move so that it's not going to flow off the edge of your cookie. Then immediately while it's wet, I'm using flood consistency icing and piping in the flowers and leaves where I want them to be. And now I'm covering the top with a piece of parchment paper and I'm gently pressing down. Some of the icing may shift a little bit underneath, but we'll be able to fix that later. And let this dry completely. After it's dried, I pulled off my parchment. And now I'm using a trick I learned from my friend Maya at Painted Ladies Pastry of using a small hand grater and shaving down the edges of the cookie. This will give a really crisp line to your cookie. I'm not applying too much pressure because that could crumble my icing. So I'm just gently putting pressure on and shaving off the icing. On this piece, I had a few air pockets where I have little divots now in the icing and I didn't want that. Sometimes it could look cool, but for this one, I needed it to look more like paper. So I piped in some 15 second icing into the holes and then I'm using the edge of a little palette knife. You can also just use the edge of a regular butter knife to swipe away and fill those gaps in. Now I'm going to paint the details of all of the flowers and leaves using the Sugar Art Elite Color in Brown. I opted to use a dust color because it can be a little bit more potent with a little bit of water or alcohol and then not as runny as gel colors can be. I'm using my favorite tiny little detail brushes that I bought from Amazon. I will link them in the description section of this video. I get a lot of questions about these. It's a teeny tiny tip. I have several different sizes of this, but I tend to use these often when I have a lot of really fine line details that I need to add. I found this really cute seed packet online that I took a lot of creative inspiration from and I made my own drawing in Procreate. So that's what I'm looking at as I'm painting this. And it's always helpful for me to have a visual aid, at least on my first piece that I'm looking at so I can kind of get the flow and, and know where I wanna put each leaf in detail. For the writing at the top, I'm starting with a very fine tipped edible marker. And I'm just drawing directly on my cookie the phrase that I want to write. And now I'm going back over that with my fine detail brush and the same elite color brown from the Sugar Art. For the teeny tiny wording, I am just using the fine tip markers and writing directly on the cookie. I also do have these markers in an array of colors and I will have a link in the description as well. That's the conclusion of creating this piece. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.